How do you know if you should stop trying and fighting for a relationship and just let it go? How do you know when you reach that point? That's the question I've been asked, man. How do we know? I would say we know we reached a point to where we have to let a relationship go. We'll focus on three things today. Respect. If you feel the respect is gone, me personally, you have to go. Respect, trust, and loyalty. Those are just three small things I feel like. If you don't have those in y'all hard times, you may need to let that go. If you don't have respect, it was a man asking me, so I had to, you know, talk to the fellas. If your woman doesn't respect you, fellas, that's bad. Respect goes a long way. If you can't trust her to be a good representation of you, you don't need to be with her. If you can't trust her to go out with her friends without thinking she's going to talk to another dude, you don't need to be with her. If you don't think she's loyal enough to be out and still hold you down, not fold, you don't need to be with her. It's hard, though. I can't say it's hard. A lot of us, we put a lot of time, money, energy into these relationships. And then when they start failing, we don't want to let go. But we just don't know those cause us bigger headaches in the long run. So it's best to just let it go. Don't get cause those big headaches in the future by you just holding on to temporary moment. Don't do it. If it costs you zero dollars to leave right now, and she shows you red flags. She shows you signs of disloyalty. She shows you signs that she doesn't respect you. Like, she shows you signs that she is not trustworthy. Let it go. Let her go. If it costs you zero dollars to do it. The reason you want to do that is because as you keep elevating together, you spend more time, energy, money, resources. You put that towards her. Like, because if you like me, you want your woman to be the best. So now you're investing in her. And a relationship really is an investment, honestly. We hate to say it, but it is. A relationship is an investment. Protect your investment. What if one day you all get married, but you ignore red flags? Now you're with a wife that you don't trust. Um, fellas, when you get out of a marriage, it costs money that you have to pay. That's why I said, if you can get out of it when it costs you zero dollars, leave. I promise, there's many more females in the world. It's gonna hurt. It's really going to hurt, you know? Can't say that enough, it's going to hurt. You know, you may have spent a lot of time. That may be the woman you thought were the, was the woman for you. That may be the case. But guess what? It didn't work out. And there's a reason it didn't work out. So you gotta acknowledge that. Don't put yourself at fault. Don't blame yourself. You know, take responsibility for what you did or how you contributed to how the relationship turned out. But don't put yourself at fault. For example, if you get cheated on and she tells you, oh, you wasn't showing me attention. I couldn't talk to you. Me personally, I would say, don't put yourself at fault for that because she's just not honest enough to you to say she's just cheated because she wanted to cheat. And that's okay. People, you know, can cheat and, you know, people can get left too. So it's okay. If she felt like, hey, that was the best option for her to do, that was the best choice for her to make, let her do it. That's okay. She can make that decision. But don't think to yourself like, dang, I could have talked to her better. She wouldn't have cheated. That's not fair to you. Now, granted, listen to me, hear me out. You probably was a poor communicator. That's probably true. But does that mean you deserve to get cheated on? No, that does not mean that. That does not mean that. Just because you were bad at something don't mean you deserve to get backstabbed from the woman you thought was the woman of your dreams the woman you thought you would one day marry the woman you thought was your partner that doesn't mean get backstabbed by and it doesn't have to be cheated if you felt that 
woman was the woman of your dreams and she disrespects you to a level that you can't return. It's the same thing. Clearly she shows you something that you did not know was there. So you dodged a bullet. That's what we call dodge the bullet. Imagine if you made it further with her, you all start getting kids, start getting married, and now things are way harder. So now you force yourself to be in a relationship and you're not happy. Now it's rubbing off on your kids. So that whole trajectory changes just like that. So it's real important, you know, to lock in and just key in, lock in, and just believe. You gotta believe in yourself. It, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna sting, but it's the right thing to do. So if you gotta let that woman go because of whatever reason and you're debating if you should continue working it out, first of all, if it's a debate, that should tell you everything you need to know because if it was worth working out, that means it would be way more positive signs than negative. But clearly you feel to a point that, damn, at what point do I just draw the line? At one point, do I put my foot down? What point do I stand up for myself and as a man? At that point, you got to say, man, I'm a man first. And believe it or not, fellas, I'm not going to lie. Believe it or not, if we don't handle that, that woman will run over us, honestly. And you're going to encounter way more problems in the future. Once the disrespect starts, it only gets louder. She's going to see what can she keep doing and get away with it. To the fact that she's just really just testing you. She doesn't respect you at all. The respect is gone. So don't put yourself in that position. Be a man first. Stand by your morals and beliefs. Lead. Hold yourself accountable. But lead. If you have a problem, try to fix your problem. If it doesn't work, she thinks it doesn't work, let it go. It's more efficient to see for both of y'all. If she feels like it's a perfect man out there because no one is perfect. No one. So... We all have our growing to do, but it's certain lines that you're never supposed to cross in relationships. That line, you know, can be deemed betrayal. So, I hope that answers y'all question, man. Thank y'all for tuning in with me, man, and I'll see y'all next time. Boom! All right.